Hello, Internet, and welcome back to Deus Ex Hu- Once er, I was like you, mindlessly consuming, but you've always felt something- Invisible like War make that. Join the order. Human Revolution will continue, uh, or be restarted whenever I get a new computer that can run it. For now, Invisible War, first session recorded with Blake Law. That is a strange and slightly disturbing image. Yeah, first session recorded with Play Claw, and making me think I might be better off just uh, going back to seven or 1280 by 720 with widescreen. But for now, I'm just going to stick with this. If it goes really smoothly like this, I'll go back, hack the engine again, get everything working for widescreen. So, yeah, let's work on this side quest here. Hello? Welcome to Club Box. We've got the latest NG Resonance Sim, the best music, and even a VIP club for your more private exchanges. You can pay the cover for the main club here. What's so great about this club anyway? Besides the usual offerings, we've got the latest NG Sim on the second floor. The owner usually hangs out up there where he can watch everything. If you need more privacy than the ground floor can offer, you might ask him about the VIP club. The stairs are on the right just after you enter. Thanks. So, what, I can't go in at all unless I pay the money? No vents, or I think you I could wake and sneak? Gotta be something. Okay, yeah, the frame rate just plummeted. I think I'll just leave it like this then. So, really, there's no other way around. No vents, nothing. Welcome to Club Box. We've got the latest NG Resonance Sim. Sorry, I don't have enough money. Well, this is Deus Ex. There has to be another way. Maybe I'll find one outside in the main overworld. Strange how the engine seems to stop and restart every time you swap levels. Yeah, there's got to be another way into there. I mean, like, like I said, it's Deus Ex. There has to be another way. Hidden vent, even if the vent is outside. You know, some way to brute force your way through. Gotta be a way that doesn't involve paying money. But I'm not seeing it. Seek a higher path. Seek order. Join us for worship at the Hartford Turbine Factory. Well, looks like I won't be doing that side quest then, because there doesn't seem to be any way to get there. Other than paying the money. I guess I'll head down to the lower Seattle area and take a look at this main quest. I still don't know which of the uh, two main factions I've seen here in this game so far are the, uh, you know, trustful ones. Trustworthy ones. Term. And I'm clearly going the wrong way. Alright, so we're heading on to the Inclinator now. I assume I sped up the uh, last little bit walk here. And I think I'm seeing why this game has... Somewhere else. What? Glad someone finally took care of it. Yeah, I think I'm finally seeing why this game likes to slow down so often. Like, even without Blake Law recording, the CPU is 
jumping all the way up to 100% usage, and I don't see why. I don't know, maybe it was just ported in such a way that it doesn't like to utilize the GPU very much. Did it seriously just fade transition that? Come on now. Even the Xbox could have handled the trip down. Doom 3 proved that. I don't think whistling works that way. Looks like things are getting back to normal. Glad the director found someone to clean up the spill. Now that the inclinator's running again. Happened. What a Brace and crazy. Ah! Stop shooting me. I'm going up the ladder, you mangy bastard. Yeah, you better go. You goddamn robots malfunctioning, trying to kill me. It's not my fault I just fell off the ladder. Yeah, but anyway, the uh, neighbor kids were riding down the road in their bicycles. I'm hoping the sound they made wasn't too uh, loudly picked up on the thing and bobber here. Uh, microphone. Die, you bastard. What's in here? Is that a multi tool? Wow, how convenient. Put that away, put that away. What are you doing, Denton? Uh, let's just drop that. Now, it's hard to tell with these little meters, but I think my health is close enough to fold that. Using that would be a total waste. Though I definitely stay up. Definitely still, or wish this still used the uh, Deus Ex 1 inventory system that had a lot more capacity. This is just like needlessly small capacity. Looks like things are getting back. Hell, it doesn't. Uh, Biomod, Biomod, Biomod. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any. Uh, augmentation in this particular game to increase your uh, carrying capacity. Which sucks, because it didn't seem to be an issue in the other games. So what's the purpose of going up here? I'm not seeing any. Well, over here, EMP converter, ammo. Alright, that's a bit more worth it. Put the weapon away, then. Well, I mean, that. Huh? I'm out of here. Yeah, run away. Yeah, I am blaming that once again on the laptop keyboard layout. Needless needlessly making the function keys small. That takes me to this. Ah! I was not expecting that to burn, I mean. I mean, sure, I'm picking up a burning barrel, but I wasn't expecting it to catch my hands on fire. Which is actually a really stupid thing to expect it not to do. All things considered. Uh, yeah. Huh? What a day. You know, I think I'll leave that on under uh, ladder area alone for the time being. Well, I suppose the good thing about all the levels in, in this game being ridiculously small, especially compared to the uh, other Deus Ex games, I don't have to worry about the play claw recordings getting a little too long and becoming unwieldy to edit. So I'm stopping and restarting the recordings all the time. They're gonna shut the inclinator down completely. I've been saying that since it was built. You said it wasn't gonna work, too. Then you said it was gonna get us jobs. You said everything, ten times over. You call that predicting the future? Think like that and they already got you script, man. That's their play. Make out like it was some low-town plot and see how we react. Doesn't bother me. Only time I went up the inclinator was when I got arrested. Careful walking around here at night. It's not so much the people as the gobs. You know, mutants. They'll always need us for their dirty work. Like my brother Danny. He cleans the bots that clean the floors up there. How would he get to work without the inclinator? He cleans cleaner bots? I guess they never invented a bot that cleans other bots. Well, they will. The whole point of an enclave is to be self-sufficient. 
Once they're established, they'll crash a helicopter into the Inclinator and blame it on a drunk smuggler. I lost my big toe to a greasel a couple of years ago. I was a little drunk and it came at me from underneath a dumpster. Wish I could have afforded a real doctor. The woman I saw, she was more interested in hunting down the greasel than fixing my toe. It was a baby greasel that got me. The doctor caught it, raised it, and made a killing at the fights. I never saw one credit from the very gob I discovered and helped to track down. Still the champ, I think. They call it Gobzilla. Real cute. Whenever I talk about it, my toe starts to hurt. Thanks a lot. Well, hey, I didn't tell you to talk about it. Don't fucking blame me. Know where I can get a decent pilot? Can't afford anyone in Upper Seattle. Don't expect to get a better deal just because you're in a scabby part of town. I'm ready to pay well if the pilot's worth it. If it was me, I'd hire a smuggler. Someone with some experience, you know? Then the WTO Air Patrol could kiss my ass. Best place for that sort of thing is the Greasel Pit. It's just on the other side of the Inclinator Tunnel. Thank you. I'm looking for the Order Church. They've set up in the abandoned Hartford Turbine Factory. You a seeker? You don't look the type. No. She means that the Order doesn't pull down many Enclave thieves. Plenty of kooks up there, but they're afraid of the old neighborhoods. The church won't turn me away, though, will they? Nah, they don't mind if you hang out in the chapel, as long as you don't fall asleep. Man, did I find that out the hard way. So where's the factory? Head south, up the hill from the Inclinator. The old factory's just southeast, across the street. So you have a theory about the Inclinator disaster? Not a theory. Fact. Fact. Inclinator traffic is half what it was two years ago. Fact. People this side of the Inclinator can't even get metro passes anymore. It's a complete WTO takeover, just like I predicted five years ago. So it wasn't an accidental spill? You believe everything you hear at a public terminal? The media is controlled by the WTO. Even the sorry scab standing next to me knows that. Want to make some money? You a gambler? Depends on the odds in the game. Two words, gob fights. I'm not kidding. Every night at the Greasel Pit on the other side of the Inclinator Tunnel. Hmm. Okay. out of here. So, what do we got down here in this dark dank pit? <laughs> Tough little bastard, isn't it? Oh, Jesus, there's another one. <sighs> well, I suppose it's a good thing I don't ever have to worry about it reloading. Something over there. Ah, med kit. Equip the uh, shotgun down here. It needs to be a better fit for the situation, just in case there's something else in the uh, area. Money, bomb, credits, energy blade. I've already got... Yes, I've already got that. Red Greasel Hunter, you say? Want to drop for it, though. I mean, you've got the weapon mods on this. Is there any way to take them off? I don't suppose. Drop the submachine gun, just uh, have a look at the uh, red greasel under. Definitely another kind of pistol, but the necessity of having another one is questionable at best. Suppose I'll bring it up here. Hmm. What do 
wonder what's with the music. I'll just uh, drop down here and pick up my uh, submachine gun again real quick. I wonder if there are any shops in this game, like ones that you can sell items at, like you could in Human Revolution. That'd be, uh, that'd be pretty convenient. Um, the hell? Okay. So is there really nothing else here? I didn't want to close that. Come on. What do we got in here? Bread, ammo, boxes. Got the shotgun. Use the bread for healing. Health boosted with the active mold cultures, is it? Okay, that's not quite... Passed by a monster, always enabled. Uh, F9. I don't remember the quick save key. F10. Um, you're a strange one. The trader handles business. I am here to prevent unfair transactions. Ah, so there are traders, eh? Will the Omar have an operation here? How's the black market in Seattle? You will appreciate our merchandise. You may purchase now or earn a discount by providing a service to the Omar. Go on. The service will be a theft. In the basement of Club Vox in Upper Seattle, the manager has hidden a cadaver, an unusual mutant he wishes to sell to a biotech firm. We are interested in the properties of the mutant's tissues, which are highly resistant to radiation and extreme temperature. You want me to steal a carcass from a nightclub? A tissue scan, please. The biological properties could be used to improve Omar adaptability. Or would you prefer to make a purchase now? What are you selling? I have a black market biomod canister, which enables non-PSO cam functionality. I am also selling three energy cells for powering your biomodified systems. Or you might want two EMP grenades for disrupting electronic devices, such as surveillance equipment. As a regular customer, you must pay full price for each. Oh, so it's like the first one. I can't, uh... Damn, I can't sell anything. Maybe later. Very well. As I haven't got any money. So who are these Omar, anyway? I mean, what... One could assume that they're just regular people in suits with the voice changers, but... They said something about adaptability. Hmm. I do have a uh, anti-bot biomod. I forgot about that. I'll have to try that next time I'm in the Inclinator room. Today marks the one-year anniversary of the refinery riots, protesting the incorporation of Seattle into the WTO. Mourners held a candlelight vigil in remembrance of those killed in the chaos. After the results of the referendum were announced on this day last year, demonstrators took to the streets to make their anger and disapproval known. 
Protesters claimed that the vote had been somehow fixed and that the results did not reflect the will of the people, particularly those living outside the enclave. It took several days before peace returned to the streets of Seattle, but there were no further disturbances afterward, although some of the tension lingers. All things considered, I wouldn't doubt it if this whole W2TO uh -huh, right. thing was not the will of the people. You know that Quick's coffee beans are slow I don't care about your advertisements. So, amid the slideshow, let's see about having a chat with some uh, more normal people. You don't look like you're from a. Not much is open in this neighborhood this late. At this hour, it's either the Greasel Pit Bar or the Order Church, depending on your interests. Watch your step around here. The locals mean business. At least it's interesting down here at this hour. I'm sure they're all in bed in Upper Seattle. Not much is open in this neighborhood this late. Watch your step around here. The locals mean business. Hmm, seems like a nice enough guy, even though he's labeled as a thug. Queequeg. It is our pledge to our customers that we use only the finest organic coffee beans brewed with imported spring water. You know, you open up the tops of those cues, and it kind of looks like the Quake logo. Whee! So, what's hidden in the box over in this way? Always giving me hell. Looks like I'm going to need something to help me get in there. Crowbar. Hmm. So I've got some food. Oh yeah, I can see and you're just fine without the light. Let's just do it this way again. Shotgun. Do you love a bit? Get the bio battery energy cell. Get out of here. Go. Who are you even talking to? I probably wasted some of the uh, restoration of that item. Oh, well, too late now. Whoa. So what is this place? Ah, the Order Church. Oh, or more two multi. Whoops! Didn't mean to do that. I can't break the door down. Sucks. Let's okay, let's go to the church right now, see what's going on here. 